The fate of one of the world's most renowned cathedrals built in the 14th century is still unknown. Eight months after a major fire devastated Notre Dame. Late this week, crews in Paris installed supports around its fragile scaffolding. The next step will be to remove that fire-ravaged scaffolding before reconstruction begins in 2021. Today is not out of danger. It will be out of danger when we take out the remaining scaffoldings. There is always a risk. Today, we can say that there is maybe a 50% chance that it will be saved. There is also a 50% chance of scaffoldings falling onto the three vaults. So as you can see, the building is still very fragile. Wow. Joining me now, structural engineer Rich Kuchkowski. He's the vice president of the CTL Group. Rich, appreciate you coming in. Thanks, Ed. Pleasure to be with you. When you hear there's a 50-50 chance, basically, that they can save it, what goes through your mind? Well, first of all, I think you have to understand the, the special nature of the building and the, and the fire that occurred. Uh, following a da disaster such as this, after the firefighting and rescue activities are completed, uh, the first phase normally is for engineers and contractors to go through and uh, inspect and stabilize the remaining portions of the structure. So they will look at uh, the damaged elements. They'll make a determination as to whether they're stable. Yeah. And if there is a risk of further collapse, they will devise a plan for uh, demolition and bracing because obviously during the reconstruction work, you want to avoid further property damages and, and injury. And given the amount of scaffolding that was present, which is reported to be 250 tons of material, which is now damaged, wow. it's not surprising that there is some uncertainty as to the condition of the remaining uh, portions of the cathedral and the schedule for the uh, completion of the reconstruction. Yeah, work. we're showing some of that scaffolding. And a moment ago, you may have seen uh, just the fire, the dramatic video of such a big story of just a few months ago. Uh, what is your sense about the next steps? You laid out sort of, you go through the scaffolding, you make your assessments. What are the next steps? Well, the visible uh, portions of the cathedral that most people associate uh, with it, the vaulted ceilings, the walls, the bell towers, mm. uh, those are constructed of stone. And stone is a non-combustible material. And by all reports, those elements went through the fire in relatively good condition. Okay. Uh, the problem was the huge timber-framed roof and the spire, which extended 300 feet above the street, and I think is what most people visually remember from the fire, that huge timber spire uh, falling down and collapsing. Mm -hmm. So all of that material fell down on top of the vaulted ceiling. The scaffolding, by and large, was located on the roof in the immediate vicinity of that spire. Right. All of that now is a twisted mass of debris on top. So the next steps are going to be to remove the scaffolding, to remove it in such a way that is safe, and then to complete this inspection and stabilization process, which is going to involve having to examine, I would assume, both the underside of the, that vaulted ceiling as well as the top side. And So, so it's a yeah. lot of work. Well, absolutely. And when we see that dramatic video of the spire coming down, is, is there just no hope of, of saving any of that spire? Is it just a complete reconstruction? Or are there pieces of it that you think can be saved? Well, from all reports, the spire itself was, was uh, almost completely destroyed. Yeah. So they may be able to save some remnants, but I imagine the spire is going to be reconstructed pretty much in its entirety. Wow. Well, a lot of history there. Uh, going back hundreds of years, we certainly hope they can save as much as they can. We appreciate your insight. Rich Kuchkowski, we appreciate you coming in today. Thanks a lot.